hi guys welcome back to another vlog weekly vlog of mine i'm coming back at you actually without a true intro just kind of starting out going into the weekend and having another pilates session which was at an actual another location but it was with the same pilates brand and i really had an amazing time it was so much fun it was so cool i really really loved it they had some sort of a special but it is still not um, something that I can put into my budget at this time. So hopefully in the near future, I can do that because self-care has been always pretty much a priority for me for the last 15 or so years. It has been like top tier. And now, um, you know, I've kind of scaled back and just taken some rest, but I, I have to get moving. I have, my body has to move. And now that it's even colder and we're dealing with, um, sad and those type of things that I feel like I do deal with because I think about my childhood until now and how the winter weather affects me. And I just always try to be proactive for, that type of situation, whether it's working out, moving my body, working out at home, trying to be in a group setting, or even sitting in an infrared sauna, which is one of my favorites. And I wish, so wish that I could have an infrared sauna at my home. That would be a game changer for me. But anyways, I just thought that I would start out with the Pilates and then we'll go into um, what's going on with my son getting braces and you'll see the rest. But Appreciate you guys for tuning in. You guys know that I couldn't do this without you. So keep watching. So today is the day that I am going to my son's first orthodontist appointment to actually start the braces process. Well, actually back in 2021 during COVID, her office was down there and we just did a consult and then they decided that he does need braces. But since then she has moved here to her new location, you guys. It is so nice. I'm so excited. Even though braces are expensive, this is one thing that I at least wanted for my son's confidence, and it's actually a need. It's not just something that we want to do. The facility is just like really beautiful, and they did a really good job. Here he is waiting. She don't want to be filmed. The Christmas tree is pretty. So we're just waiting to be called to the back. Well, but they told me to stay up front, so I guess I'll stay up front. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Leah here, and I am actually just kind of vlogging another weekend vlog and just letting you know what I'm up to. Nothing too crazy. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. Um, I have really not been in the Christmas spirit for, I guess I would say about two years now. Um, I really have been trying to do the very best that I can, but honestly, it's just so many different things that have gone on for me personally and then just around me that I'm struggling with really being in the holiday spirit. So two weekends ago, I went to a home going celebration for an Arbonne sister of mine that I knew over the last 10 years. We weren't very, very tight or close, but she was pretty much in a leadership role when I was really, really pushing in that business. And she ended up having a battle with cancer starting in 2015 and she lost that battle at the end of November of this year. And so her homegoing celebration, it was very, very fitting. They really did so well by her. She was loved by so many. She was trusted with health and wellness by so many. And she really was 
a go-getter in the field of health and wellness and just well-being and being whole mind body spirit and she was a beautiful woman of god um so it took everything in me to go but i felt like i wanted to honor her so i just want to say rest well sarah um you did a job well done good and faithful servant so then going forward it's just been work 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 and actually putting myself out there and looking for some better opportunities because i know what my needs are financially so that's been a lot of stress but i'm doing what i have to do for me and mine also this weekend i had another associate that actually has battled cancer off and on for many years and she is a survivor and she finally graduated college today with her bachelor's so she invited me out um i told her that i would at least show up at the graduation and then i did have a co-worker that actually was graduating as well so i was able to support both of those people at the same time and it was a beautiful graduation and so i'm really happy for them and i felt like it was good for me to kind of get out get out in outside and be around people and celebrate them so that that could give me also a boost of confidence and just to say hey you know don't give up just keep striving keep pushing this too shall pass you will be fine in other news the cat is um pretty much overall doing well but the hairball issue is a whole thing and he was not well this morning and just kind of really um, regurgitating a hairball, etc. Whatever happened with his breakfast this morning, he wasn't able to keep that down. So I'm really just over the top feeling like I have to rehome him because I cannot put in any more money into this cat. And he is still on this special diet because they at least want to do it for three months now. And then it's possible that it will be a lifetime. So that's another concern and then earlier this week um there was news that beloved twitch um one of the main dancers on so you think you can dance life was ended either by a self-infliction or who knows and i really never really get too wrapped up or caught up in celebrity type things or their on their going ons However, as it relates to Twitch, back in 2008 when he first aired on So You Think You Can Dance, I was drawn to him. His spirit was just over the top, big and bold and bright, and he was a light, and he was so confident, and he had so much fun in the element of dance. And it made people smile, and it made people happy, and he always was smiling. Not to say that you can't have hard times, and downtimes because I actually can relate. So with that said, that show when it aired was a breath of fresh air for me personally because I had kind of gotten over American Idol. American Idol kind of started out hot and heavy. It was so good. But then it just kind of seemed to be like a publicity stunt and just kind of the ghetto and, you know, like, reality tv like in some of the storylines for the people so th this when the show aired i was so excited because i honestly always wanted to dance never truly had an opportunity to dance professionally but i was living vicariously through these people and twitch always stood out to me because he was just so crunk and he was just that guy and although he didn't win he ended up being in the all-stars but he made a pathway for himself. Also, he was a Southerner. He was from Alabama. And so I could relate to that because I'm a Southerner. And I knew that by him being able to dance, he was trying to get out of that area and make something big of himself to become a star. I could relate to that as well. Stardom is not everything. However, if you're able to get out and make it and make a better life for yourself and make a positive impact, on people I think is great and that's what I felt Twitch always did so learning of this news really it put me in a weird space because I just felt like oh my gosh he seems so happy he seems so whole he seems so 
well he seemed so giving he seemed so happy about what he was able to do with his with his gift you know he was able to have a make a career out of his god-given gift and talent and a lot of people can't always say that and so just watching the videos and watching him and following his journey i never saw this situation but alas here we are so i just wanted to honor him and just you know um say r.i.p and you know god just please send some type of comfort and peace for his dear children and wife i just don't get it i don't know all the details i don't know i don't i'm not there and i don't want to get wrapped up in the he say she say and whatever people are commenting but it is very very hard to believe that he would do this at this time he has so much to live for so much to celebrate again you never know what people are going through but you never know what people um how people may see a person and have something against them so i can't say wholeheartedly that what this storyline is is the truth or that i believe it but i do feel really bad for that situation um and so that really just it did something to me this week um because i know like sometimes it's weird to understand why people that have so much could do such a thing while you are struggling and still trying to make it day by day and so it, it's, it's just it's been hard but with that said i'm going to wrap up the rest of my day and get home because i have to check on douglas and see how things are going there but i will holler back at you guys bye